Hi everybody, it's Julie. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome, welcome. We are going to be making our double tuck today. So our double double tuck embellishment is actually it's a page idea and we need to start with an envelope. So I have pulled out this package of everyday paper it was leaning a little so it's got a little bit of a curl um i got this at dollar general and i'm gonna go with this plaid okay i just i love the idea of adding a plaid to the to the digital so these keep falling down okay these are Two of the items that I added to last month's Emerald Patreon, okay? I made them these, and they got those in their Emerald Patreon, and their theme was the, their, the digital was a, was called Quilted. It was the Flower Sack Quilt. And they got it in a variety of pieces and a variety of ways to use. And I will be using that and making a journal here very, very soon. So we're going to get out our punch board. Okay. And let's see. Um, let's see. So this is 12 by 12, and so I'm going to cut this down. I'm thinking I really, I want a different, do I want 4 by 8, 4 by 8, or 4 by, 4 by 7. So I'm going to need 8 and 3 quarters by 8 and 3 quarters, okay, is the size of paper that I want, okay. Sometimes I'll do this by the size of paper that I have. But this time we're going to go ahead and cut our paper. So eight and three quarters. Now for your double tuck, you can use an envelope that is already made. Look at that great piece that we'll have for making something else somewhere in the journal. And eight and three quarters. <coughs> so two great pieces. So... Our card size is going to be four by seven. We need to come over here, and our first score line is going to be at three and three eighths. I'm going to turn this over. That way, my score lines are already ready. I'm going to check the amount again three and three eighths. I'm going to put this under the little feed thing here and come over to three and three eighths. Okay three and three eighths right there. I'm going to punch it and score it. Okay. And that's a perfect, it comes right to the end, you guys. That's a, uh, that's perfect. Okay. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to line this up. You're not going to pay attention to this anymore. Now it's all about lining this little piece up with your previously scored piece. You punch and you score. And you do the same thing all the way around. I love having this. Now, there are scoreboards out there that will have these. Um, there is a, there's one that does, like, all the things. Um, so, yeah. So, that is going to be my envelope. Now, I can turn this this way also and go ahead and take it through these places one of my favorite things so today is wednesday so tomorrow we will have our zoom with our sapphire which is the five dollar a month level and above patreons so if you are a Patreon, make sure you put that on your K 
calendar to join us at the Zoom. And the Zoom numbers are already in the Zoom. I will uh, try and get those in there again just to make them easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go around and just quickly make this so that it's going to be an easy fold. Okay. Now the cool thing about the envelope punch board is being able to make things that are, you know, an interesting, a different size. And look, these, that one of those would fit in there. Perfect. But that's not what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, anyway, now I have one of the napkins. This is from the red, white, and blue napkin collection that I have. Um, it is not in the shop, but it is a part of uh, the sale. So if you um, want a red, white, and blue napkin um, pack, uh, come to the sale on Friday or watch Friday's sale video. There's only a couple of them left. Okay. And I'm, I have not... Um, I'm, I'm doing this without having uh, separated it. I, I don't know why, but it's okay. But I want some blue on here because this is for my Raggedy Ann and Andy journal. So just separating it. Okay, and then I can go ahead and add this on. And I think that that is going to be, be really fun. Okay. I think it's a fun way to get some, some blue on here. And it's actually easier to rip from, I mean, I'm feeling like it's easier to rip that I haven't taken it apart. Okay, I'm going to put one down here. Look at, it actually has a, your second backing piece has some on there. So, you know what, because of that, I am going to go ahead and take this apart. Okay, so that gives me, because that will make a beautiful background page. It's uh, one of my favorite things about using the napkins is when there is ink color on the second ply that I can then use. Okay, so it's mostly the strawberries you can see but it's um, more so than the blueberries, but I think that that will be, be really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna save that and I'll have that to, to use as well. Okay, so, um, okay, so this one and this one, and this one's got a flat edge on it, so I'm gonna put it there. And I could just go ahead and put this one on this side. I kind of like that. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my, my glue stick because that is my favorite way to, to add it on. Okay, so I've got glue stick. Put this down. Pull it out. Okay. Now come over here and do the same thing. These are going to end up on opposite pages in the journal. If you're doing a single um, signature journal, they'll be on opposite parts of the journal. If you're doing a, you know, it'll be on opposite parts of your mm, I like that okay so now we need to put our thing together this is going to be 
uh, my flap and I'm just going to mark it because, um, I, I don't want, I don't want to accidentally put it together backwards. So now we get to decide how this is going to work on this side. And you know what? I've really been enjoying where the flap comes in like that. Okay. But you know what? I think I want to go ahead and add a background here. Now, do I want to use that? Let me see. Okay, not that one. <laughs> Up here, I have a yellow and blue one. This was from, from something else, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I think we'll go with... cool thing is, is you'll be able to write on this flap if you want to. And we don't need to go all the way down because I'm going to put a, a lip across. Okay. So how do I want to put this in? I'm going to just put it in like, well, I think... I need to go all the way to the tip. Okay. You see how nice that looks? Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, that would be so pretty in a fall journal. And it's okay, I've got, I think I have more of this plaid. That would actually be really pretty on one of the th for one of the things I'm making for the baby's um, room for Amelia. Amelia for her bedroom. So we are um, expecting a new granddaughter in December. Just roughly going around it to start with. So, are you a napkin fan? <laughs> uh, yeah, fan. Oh my, it has been so warm, right? Okay, now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and stitch this in with your sewing machine. Um, as you know, I'm doing these D stash sales so that I can um, so I can declutter and make more room for working in my my craft room here. So, um, or if you didn't know, I'm I'm doing that. I we have a sale on Friday this Friday at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I've shown you the, I have some plaid fabric. I have some floral fabric. I have that beautiful um, eyelet piece that I'm also going to be using in my journal. Okay, so that is going to be, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this, this is gonna go down and I'm gonna put um, a piece across here and I was just thinking the, the wrapping paper, okay? The beautiful wrapping paper would be really pretty here. Okay, so I have this piece. 
Perfect. Okay, how how big do I want it? I think I want it three, no, two and a half. So I'm going to cut it at the third piece. Okay. So this is wrapping paper, vintage wrapping paper that I have in my stash. Okay, and so if I go to put it on, we're just going to mark, you know what? Um, well, let's mark it. We're going to put, put it on here. And I want to, I want to cut it right at this edge. So I'm going to use my fingernail, okay, to mark it, and then come right across here. Okay. Now I'm going to use this as the bottom because it was the straight line, and then I'm going to come up here and fold this piece over. And I'm going to line it right up with the centers of these flowers as best as I can. So that one, that one, that one. Okay? And fold it over because if you fold it over, you're going to give that whole piece of paper, just by folding that over, is going to make this stronger. Okay? So there we go. Folding it over. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Okay, I do need to cut it just a, just a sliv, just a sliv, sliver. Okay, so star to star to star, and we'll pull out our, okay, now I, uh, I want this, to, I wonder if I, yeah, I want this to stay down a little. So I'm going to go ahead and put, because one of the things is this does usually flip up. Okay. And I want this, it's still a pretty good size pocket, right? And I'm going to glue on the flap and on the pocket because I have that little bit of glue or that napkin in between. Okay. And I'm doing that to get this to stay down. I'm just, I just know that on other ones before it didn't, it, it, it came up. Okay. And I don't want it to come up. Okay. Now here. We're going to be able to go in four flowers on each side, okay? Four flowers. Or do I want to do it that way? No, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go to the outside, okay? To the outside. To the outside. To the outside. Okay, so I've got, I'm making a little like border tuck pocket here. Okay. Or he's using all the colors. That would have been a good place to use a, a digital also. Okay, this one, remember with the X, that one is going to be glued to the page that's over on this side. So, um, just a little FYI there. Okay, so we can go ahead and Okay, so this is going to be one page and this is going to be a different page. And now this little flap can go inside there. 
okay? Okay, we have a spot. So this is, I always want to come back and check when I'm using the So that is ready. So this is my double tuck base. Now I have added my napkin and I have added the wrapping paper. Those are two of the things. I do need a, a digital. I'm gonna come down here and see what we've got. So I'm gonna use from the Raggedy Ann and Andy collection. Pages, pages, collage page, the cat page, more pages, um, the flip up postcard page, the other postcard page, the mini, okay, how about... I'm like, do I want to put just one or do I want to put the two of them together? I don't think we've done anything with... Oh, this is another flip-up page. And I didn't get a chance to make um, my video of this yet. This kit. So... Sitting way down. Here's the wallet page. Okay. So I'm thinking the two of them, the cute one of the two of them. Go ahead and rip. Okay. Okay, should I pop this up on on something? I could pop it up on a piece of the, the wrapping paper. it up. So have you picked up your Raggedy Ann and Andy digital? Oh my gosh. I, it's just a fun, fun digital, I think. So now as we've been working with this and getting, I've been getting the things together for the upcoming uh, Cinderella digital. Oh my goodness. That one is going to be amazing also. 
Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and go all the way across, you guys, because um, otherwise I can't get it under. Okay. And it's not like I need to save. I don't need to save stuff. I've got so much I need to use. Use my stuff. Okay. So could have put it, could have made that a card and put it on here, but I think that this on here. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute. How cute is that? So, um, and okay do i want a pocket yeah i'm going to make a pocket um over here on this side maybe okay so something can go in here and i think gonna make it be that okay so that came from the patreon okay now I have some fun little little goodies that I want to add in in this journal do I want to add okay trouble is got the share of the trouble I don't know those I have oh I have this a friend is a present you give yourself okay I like that okay what if we put that on do we see if we have a Tim Holtz okay if we do the red and then we add that. I think we'll do that. Okay. And I'm also going to make this a pocket. Um, because a ticket can stick out of this. Um, I don't have to do anything crazy. Now I want the things. Um, so this is touching this. This is touching the strawberries. So we've got that going on. Um, do I have... Well, for right now, I'm going to put this one in here. Okay, so just this, keep this coupon. I may switch it out for something shorter, but um, that is in there. This was in my stash. It says, a friend is a present you give yourself. Okay. Okay. Oh, and this was my useful paper pad. Oops, forgot to say that. Um, okay, and over here we've got the little bird, and let's go ahead and we'll we'll add the cute little bird. We're just gonna put them up here, okay? Because what's gonna happen is in the journal. This is going to get glued here and here, and that's what makes this a, a double tuck. It'll sit it inside. And, um, okay, so we can grab a, a page. Have we done any pages? So this is, this is a page that we've done, okay? And we had this quilted page and we have them on this side. And so um, this time we can have this quilted page with them on this side. Now your, your double tucks can either, so if we turn this upside down, can either go on the edge, okay? 
So you would glue this down and you have a place to put something here and something here. You'd flip it over and their double tuck flip is on that side. Or you can have them in the center. And then when they're in the center, they can either, the binding can come down across. So if you were going through the book, okay, so you're going through the book, and you'd have a double tuck here, you'd have your accordion pocket, that's banner clip, and then over here you'd have your flip. Now obviously, you know me, I'm not going to want to put them on the page where the same, the same image is behind them. So I'm going to come back up into my page, my pages. Of course I could put the strawberry. Okay. Here I have this. Okay. So this could go across over that. And then this is what you'd have on the other side. I like that. Or we could go like this. We could go ahead and use that strawberry paper, okay? Which I'm thinking would be a good idea. The the minimal one. Okay, so this this napkin. I will put these things over here. Put these up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this page. And the way that I have been doing this lately is go around the inside, okay? Oh, whoop. And then go around the outside last, okay? Because that's the most important area for it to stick, right? Okay, then we're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and put it, um, I want it this way, okay? So we're gonna put this down across the bottom. There's a fun red edge down here on the bottom is what I'm, what I'm going for. Whoops, I'm only doing half, okay? And we'll put this down. Now this gives the most amazing texture. It feels like cloth paper. Okay. We've got the, the strawberries happening here. And <clears throat> so I think that this will be, be fun. And we're using the light strawberries, not the dark one, because I'll want the dark strawberries somewhere else in the journal um, I think for the to give it cohesiveness but I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to hang on to this strawberry napkin like for the next project because I don't know when that's gonna be okay Okay, when you use the wet glue in a napkin, be careful because it can and probably will rip. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and pull this up, turn it over, and I can take this time to go ahead and I'm going to cut the white edge off. So, do you like to make your cover for your journal first or after you're finished? Um, this, at, at this time, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you want to. Um, you can even use a cover that you've already made because in the instructions, if you watch the details video for this month's challenge, you will see 
that you can um, start a new journal or use an old one, but you have to make all of the elements and all of the elements have to be in that journal. So helping some of you finish something that you started if you um, wanted to do that. Okay, so, and I choose to cut this. If I use the trimmer right now, it's wet and it probably will, would rip, okay? Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and fold our page. Let's fold it this way first so that I can make sure that I'm on the line. Okay, so we'll fold it and then come back and fold it on the fold line. Okay, and now we've got a beautiful paper textured that we can uh, write on. Okay. And we can either put this on here or we can put this on here. Okay, we could also put this on the outside. Okay, so we have all of those choices for our double, I kind of like that. Um, I do like this also. I think we're gonna go with this. Okay, so the way that we, we attach our double tuck is you go down on the inside of the flap and across the flap. Um, if your flap is rounded, that's okay. If you have a long skinny flap, that is okay. It's still gonna make your two um, your two little tuck spots, that's what you're you're going for. I'm looking for my line. Okay. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. For my fold. Okay. There. Make sure that it's in the fold. Okay, so there's my double tuck. And then we're just gonna go around and check for things like a uh, paper that was not glued all the way down. Okay, so now you're gonna you're gonna want something to go in here, something to go in here. Um, I don't need to make. I only need to make one insert this time. So that could go there. These were these were in the Patreon. I actually made these, and the July Patreons have that in their in their happy mail. Okay, so I need to make one insert to go in here this time. And so we put one of the cards that I had made for them here. Okay, because at the end of this um, challenge, all of your pockets need to have something in them. So um, let's see. So uh, yeah, the other thing was, is I was so we have our Dear Julie Julie Digital. I was thinking that, does this need a number? I think, I think that will overcrowd. Overcrowd. Okay, now we could, okay, so you guys, I have the, um, randomly when I'm going through my cards, I'll find one with the sticker on it. And those were my mom's. And she made, she did stuff for uh, the church um, get together things for the women. And they might have been going to be their name badge. It might have been a little thing where they were going to write something on it. 
Um, I don't know specifically what this one was for, but um, we, but, the, but it has her little, her little star on there, which I think is, is really fun. So I want to go ahead and um, we're gonna, we'll have journaling space on the back. It just, excuse me, figure out how I want to, to decorate this. Okay. Okay, so your, the insert is required this time. Okay, so it said on there, um, Double tuck, what does it say? Double tuck with insert. So it needs to have one insert. And because it says with insert, your insert needs to have the Dear Julie Julie Digital. It needs to have the um, three items enhancing or embellishing it, okay? And so if you want more information about the challenge, the, the um, link to the challenge is in the description box down below. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and I can go ahead and put that on here. So double tuck is one of my favorite embellishments to make. Okay, so this is going to fit <clears throat> in here. And I think I'm looking for the, yeah, here it is, the tape measure. I think the tape measure will be fun. Um, We use that on the clusters. So this is the clusters on a page that we made yesterday. And I showed you how to make cluster in a page, basically. So um, wanting to, to do something different, always trying to do, if I can, to do something different. Um, I've been enjoying making these little flap pockets out of the envelope. We haven't made a big envelope in a while. Okay, so today's item I'm using is um, usual, or no, useful paper pads. So I used a useful paper pad. Okay, so there it's got those things. It still needs a Dear Julie Julie Digital. And I was looking up here and I have, well, I have Raggedy Ann walking away. I think that that, <laughs> it looks like she's um, doing her zombie impression. So we're gonna use that. And we're gonna turn this into a stamp. Okay, we'll put that here so that it's on the collage. So the tape measure is our tab. So it'll be easy to get this in and out. We've got great colors here. Okay. Okay. So we have we used an index card for the insert insert base. Then I've added um, the measuring tape. Wow, I've really been having problems with that word measuring tape you can still see the measuring tape on that side which I think is really cool your staples count as a 
um, as an enhancement. If I was to ink this, inking counts as an enhancement. Um, we have the sticker from my mom's sticker. We have uh, scrapbook paper here, and we have the little um, the little goodie. The Dear Julie Julie Digital. We have Raggedy Ann, and she is going somewhere. She looks like she is on her way. I think we'll use the number one off this sticker sheet. Okay, because she's the only one here in this Okay. I think it might be kind of funny to put the trouble on there. But I think we'll wait. But the star might be kind of cool. Yeah, I think we'll add the star. It is a little bulky. I am adding glue to it because I don't know um, where it came from or... That probably would have been good to save for my circus journal, but that's okay. Okay, so that can go in there, and that can go there, and so that is our double tuck. So we're going to end up needing a little a card for down here. I have this circle flash card, and I'm going to put that there for right now. Again. I will probably add something to it. What if we add a circle number four sticker in there? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so um, so on the actual, we used a paper pad and we made an envelope. Okay, and this can come out. You're gonna be able to journal here if you wanted to. And also that gives you a place for a, for a card. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this card in there. And so um, until it needs something else, that just flips like, flaps like this, and that will go like that. So that almost becomes hidden journaling if you wanted it to, okay? Because you most people will come along and see this and not think that that um, will also open. Okay, so we've used wrapping paper, the napkin, the Tim Holtz label, the sticker, and here's our Dear Julie Julie Digital. And then we've added the little ticket here, and you know, you never know, we might end up with something else. These can both be written on. So this is a mini calendar that I, I had for last year. And so um, you've seen me use it in many ways, but many, <laughs> many ways. There we go. I love, love, love it. This is our double tuck with an insert. Okay, so I, I made that insert. The other inserts, I can use things that I already had. Okay, again, these are in the Patreon um, they'll be getting those in their packets. And so they are coming, uh, July and August are coming together. So if you are waiting for your packet, um, July and August are coming, coming together. So yeah, I love it. I love it. So we have a couple of pages that are done we have the clusters that we made yesterday and so um so one of the things that you can do with a cluster let's go with this little airplane one okay so if you watched yesterday i made these and they actually go through the bottom so that i could get the pieces in there Okay, so I'm going to carefully rip and using my, this is, again, I wanted to show something different. So yeah, it's, so I didn't, it's not like I made it easy. I just, okay, I'm going to come around this car. Yay. And. 
across the back. Okay, you don't have to do your clusters through the page. That was just a new way of doing it and being able to have my little well in this case it's a little airplane okay so we're gonna go ahead and decorate this page here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there and then Let's see. Oh, you know what? Well, it's not very often that you'll see me cut the fabric. Okay, I'm gonna cut that, then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna give it a snake tongue cut or dovetail. Okay, and I'm gonna let that um, go out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my little people down, okay? And I chose the Campbell Soup people because they look like the same kids that are in the book with the Raggedy Ann and Andy. So my antique Raggedy Ann and Andy book that I used. Okay, so we have our little airplane. Could have made this like a little tuck, but I'm not going. But I'm not going to. Okay, and then I add the the banner. Okay, and I'm gonna let it go out the side and if it ends up that I don't like it out the side then we can go ahead and uh, come back in and cut it and I'm going to use a scrap cut it. I was going to draw it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I think I can use that little scrap right there. And then I will put a word on here. I just don't know what word yet. So I might have to, I might have to go shopping for a word. Okay, so there's the banner, and got birthday candles. Anyway, um, so we can add a word eventually on here, um, but I've got to find it. So 
um, and I gotta find, I've got to find the right word, right? Okay. So I don't know if you guys, uh, there's a page of this that has all kinds of words. Maybe I need to bring that in here and be using that with this kit. So, um, yeah, so there I've used one of the clusters. Okay. We used the negative of the strawberry napkin page. And then this is our double tech. Okay. And we have the insert that I made and, um, and I have filled all the pockets with something. So that is taken care of. Okay. So again, yesterday's video, we did clusters on the, the goodie there. And then we have also done, so that was, this is D, that was C. B, we made a banner paper clip. And A was our accordion pocket. And I made it to be um, Raggedy Andy's, uh, his overalls. Okay? Okie dokie. Yeah. So um, excited. We're going to continue on. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.